Hello everyone and welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Today we have an interesting and really good algebra problem with factorial, so I hope you will enjoy this video. So let's try to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have a nominator, we have denominator, so how can we go with it? Take a look. At first I want to write a rule. So we all know that x factorial equal to x times x minus 1 factorial. So why I write this rule and why this rule works? For example, we will have 4 factorial, for example. So this 4 factorial, we all know that it will be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, equal to 24. So this is a classic, this is a table case of 4 factorial, we all know this. But in, in our case, we need, for example, no, if we have, for example, x plus 2 factorial, it will be equal to previous x's and times factorial x, 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 for example, minus 1, or, or take a look, x plus 2 factorial, it will be equal x plus 2, and the previous one, minus 1, times x minus 1, x plus 1, times x minus 1, and of course I don't want to, to write all elements, I write x minus 1 factorial. So for example, this this is wor this work, because right here we'll have this element, previous one, previous one, and, and I don't want to write about this element, I, I let this like that. So x minus 1 factorial. So I hope you understand this step. What I'm going to do next? Take a look. Let's write this instead of our x plus 2 factorial in our denominator. So what we'll have? We'll have x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x and times x minus 1 factorial. And we divide in this by x minus 1 factorial. x minus 1 factorial equal to equal to 60. So as you can see right now, we can we can cancel this x minus 1, because we have the same in our denominator and in our denominator. So I hope you understand this step. We just cancel our x minus 1 factorial. We just cancel this. So we will have only this expression, only this expression equal to equal to 60. So let's let's solve it. Let's write it. We will have x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x equal to 60. Of course, we can simplify this. We don't have any, any factorials right here, so we can easily... Let's start with this multiplication, these two parentheses. We will have x, and in our parentheses we will have x squared plus 3x and plus 2 equal to 60. Moreover, we can finally multiply this x by this parentheses, and we will have a really interesting cube equation. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 60 equal to 0. So as you can see, we don't have any, any factorials right here. We need to solve our cube equation. So let's use our classic theorem. So let's let's plug in all of the all factors. So let's start, for example, with 1, 2, 3, and we will see what we will have. So let's use the theorem. So what factors we will have? Factors. Factors. So for example, x, x equal to 1. What we will have? If x equal to 1, we will have 1 plus 3 plus 2 minus 60 and right now I see that this is not good so this is not equal to 0 so this factor is not good for us let's check real quick x equal to 2 what you will have you will have 8 plus 12 plus 4 minus 60 equal to 0 which is not good because this is not equal to 0 as you can see let's go next we will have x equal to 3 we will have 27 plus 27 and plus 6 minus 60 and as you can see we have 54 plus 6 equal to 60 minus 60 equal to 0 so as you can see we find right now we find one of the one of our factors so x minus 3 is a factor is a factor is a factor so we can write it as x minus 3 and we need to find another parenthesis so this parenthesis we are going to find right now so we need to find this second parenthesis how can we find these parentheses? Take a look. Right here we have this, this expression. We have x cubed. I write this equation. So x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 60 equal to 0. But we know that we need to factor x minus 3. So let's solve this step by step. We need to factor out x minus 3. So near this x cubed, I write it as x squared x square and in parentheses we will have this x minus 3 that we need to factor x minus 3. If we open this parentheses we will have x cubed minus 3x square so we need to add this 3x square so add 3x square so this is our step 
I, I put it in, for example, in these brackets, for example. I write it that this is our step that we need. But this step equal to x cube, only x cube. And we will have the same as right here. We will have plus 3x squared, plus 2x, and minus 60 equal to 0. But right now we have this x minus 3 that we need that we need to factor it. So what we're going to do next, let's add, add this 3x squared and this 3x squared. So we will have x squared times x minus 3 plus 6x squared plus 2x and minus 60 equal to equal to 0. So let's let's use this step once more. Let's create right here x minus 3 near this 6x. What we'll have? We'll have x squared times x minus 3 and plus 6x and I write this x minus 3. If we open parentheses we need to add 18x plus 18x and the same as right here plus 2x minus 60 equal to 0. So right now we have x minus 3 near these two elements. So let's go next. Right here we have 20x minus 60. So as you can see we need to factor out 20 and we will have x minus 3. So I just skip this step and I write the final answer x cube x square x minus 3 plus 6x x minus 3 and I hope you see right now that 18x plus 2x will be equal to 20x and if you factor it for example 20 we will have x minus 3 equal to 0. So this is I want to, this is the step I want to show you because right now we have x minus 3 x minus 3 x minus 3 so we can easily factor this x minus 3. So let's do this we will have x minus 3 and in second parentheses x square plus 6x and plus 20 equal to 0. So finally we do this we do this job. I hope you understand all of these steps. What we're going to do next? Of course, a classic classic case because we have a product equal to 0, parentheses equal to 0, both of the both of them equal to 0. So x minus 3 equal to 0 and x equal to 3. This is our first root. So finally we find our one our first root. But let's let's find another root. We will have x square plus 6x plus 20 equal to 0. How can we solve it? Of course, using a classic, classic method, a equal to 1, b equal to 6, and c equal to 20. So we just need to put all these elements and we will have that our x from here x equal to from here x equal to minus b minus 6, we will have plus minus b square 6 square 36 minus 4ac so minus 4 times 1 times 20 and we divide in all of this by by 2 let's solve this we will have x equal to minus 6 plus minus in our square root we will have 36 minus 1 minus minus uh, 4 times minus 80 we will have square root of minus 44 over 2 or we can easily simplify this. How can we simplify this? 44 can be written as 4 times 11 or we can write it as minus 6 plus minus square root of for example minus minus 11 and times square root of 4 over over 2. So I hope you understand this step. We just write this 44 as 11 times 4. So let's go next. We'll have minus 6. Right here we'll have 2 plus minus 2 times square root of minus 11 or if you know about complex number we can easily write it as minus 6 plus minus 2 i square root of 11 and all over all over 2 or if we divide by 2 all of these both of these elements we will have our final answer we will have minus 3 plus minus i square root of 11 so we finally solve this interesting question. So we'll have x equal to x equal to 3. This is our real number root, root in real numbers. And right here we will have two complex roots. As you can see with the plus sign and with the minus sign, we will have two complex roots. Two complex roots, two complex solutions. So one and only solution that we need that is good for us is x equal to 3. Of course we can we can check it, we can we can check our root, we will have 5 factorial over 2 factorial equal to 60, which is absolutely correct. 
So x equal to 3 is our one and only root in, in real numbers and I hope you understand this, this solution. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment, it will be really interesting to read about it and of course subscribe for more videos if you enjoy it, I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos.